Hello and welcome to Explore Biona. I'm Carolyn with Friends of Biona Wetlands and I want to welcome you to Superheroes of Nature. In this Superheroes of Nature series, we're going to be learning about the superpower adaptations of plants and animals, as well as how you can be a nature superhero. In this video, we're going to be talking about reptile superpowers. Reptiles can be a little scary for people, but once we take a closer look at their superpowers, we should start to recognize how amazing they are. We're going to have to get a little lower to the ground to keep our eyes open for them, but let's check out some of the superpowers of our local reptiles. What is an adaptation? It's kind of like a superpower. It's a special body part that could be on the inside or outside of a plant or animal that allows it to survive better in its habitat. Most of the reptiles seen at Biona Wetlands are lizards, and oftentimes they appear to just be enjoying our Southern California sunshine. You can spot them on rocks, rails, roads, and trails basking in the sunlight. The reason for this is their need for sun power, much like Superman. Reptiles are cold-blooded, which means their body doesn't make their own heat. They need to get it from somewhere else. Most often, that means lying in the sun at the start of every day to power up and get moving. One benefit to harnessing the sun's rays for warmth is reptiles don't constantly need to eat food to keep their energy up. It's also this trait of warming up on fences that gives one of our most common lizards its name, the Western Fence Lizard. By far the most amazing superpower of lizards is their healing ability, just like wolverine. Many species of lizards are able to drop their tail and then over time regrow it. Why drop your tail? Lizards can drop or self-amputate their tail when they are threatened, especially by a predator. The tail will continue to wiggle around for a bit, usually distracting the predator long enough for the lizard to escape to see another day. It then takes time and energy for his lizard tail to regrow. But this amazing superpower is something scientists continue to study to see if humans can learn from their lizard friends and perhaps one day help heal human injuries. Snakes are a special sight considering how rarely they are seen at Biona wetlands. Though certainly startling at first, if you see them move, you recognize how strong they are, even without limbs. The most frequently seen snake is the gopher snake, which can grow to become several feet long. Identifiable by its color, length, and rounded head, it only poses a danger to small mammals caught in its path. Like the king snake, gopher snakes are constrictors, which mean they use strength like mighty Thor to squeeze their prey until they can eat it all in one bite. Though often miscast as a villain, the only venomous snake found at Bion Wetlands is the Southern Pacific Rattlesnake and can be recognized with its rattle tail and triangular shaped head. While humans do need to be extra cautious around this reptile, rattlesnakes use their amazing superpowers to help keep the rodent population down. Their heat vision doesn't mean they shoot lasers from their eyes like X-Men Cyclops. It means they can actually see heat due to their pit organ. This comes in handy to accurately strike at prey, and when they do, they have a superpower double whammy because they also have venom. This venom doesn't instantly kill their prey, but the rattlesnake can use their heat vision and excellent sense of smell to track down its prey until it becomes its next meal. One of the best ways you can be a super sidekick to reptiles is by respecting their space. For lizards, humans may look a lot like a predator, and they might drop their tail and have to undergo the energy draining process to regrow it, all so a human can just have a closer look. For larger reptiles like snakes, keeping your distance is safer for all, because even those without venom, they can still bite if they get scared. Reptiles should only be handled by people trained, so it can keep people and reptiles happy and healthy. After our adventure today, I thought I'd try out the Western Fence Lizard strategy of getting some energy, and it's working pretty well. Great job today finding out all about reptiles and their superpowers. If you want to learn more about our superheroes of nature, you can check out our other videos in this Superheroes of Nature series. And remember, keep exploring.